Hey everybody, happy Monday, new week, you know, all the potential of an upcoming week. And of course it's miscellaneous Monday, so we're doing something weird. Uh, now that I finished Card Shark this weekend, the Friday and Saturday streams, I'm gonna try and finish Kirby, because I think I'm about halfway through that, and then uh, finish Link to the Past. Or not Link to the Past, Link's Awakening. I think I can finish those both off this weekend and then move on to something uh, a little juicier. I don't know what yet, but we'll find out. But today we have Cars 3 Driven to Win. Something that I found a little interesting about this is the WB Games logo came up. So this is a Disney property, Cars. I guess it's a Pixar property, but Pixar is owned by Disney. But they're letting WB do the game side? I don't know. Weird. Very odd. But uh, let's get into it. I, it looked like a racing game. I only got it because it was like two bucks on sale when it was originally. Uh, this sold for like 60 bucks originally. So uh, yeah, just looks like a racing game from all the shots. Oh, it looks amazing. Best of the best. I've dreamed about this moment for as long as I can remember. Okay, Mr. McQueen. That's, that's yep, that's definitely do. actually Owen Wilson, for sure. Try to keep up. Remember, skill is everything, and these two had the skills. Get ready. I don't think I don't remember Cruz wow. Ramirez is a really beautiful voice actor. Thomasville like this is amazing. Oh, how do I drift? Come on. You can't just tell me drive. They're drifting like crazy. I guess that's what the whole first movie was about, was drifting, hey, right? It's Louise! I mean, it was about other things, but you know. Erica. Louise! Oh, this is great! Oh, you did your best, bud. With that impression. Alright, how do I drift? Is it... Yeah. So much Left trigger. Whoa! Me. Jumping! See? You can master okay. this, just like you mastered racing on dirt. Yeah. This oh, is A. A is how you drift. Gotcha. A is drift. B is jump. Right trigger is accelerate. Gotcha. Pretty straightforward. This came out, I believe this was a launch title for Switch. Or if not a launch title, very early on. So I guess it is like five years old at this point, but... Man... It's, uh, it's really showing its age. Come on now. I mean, all things considered, I've certainly seen uglier games on the Switch. Oh, nope. Junior's here. Now it's a race. This is awesome. Who is Louise? See, I've seen the first and third cars, and I've seen a lot of reviews of the second cars, because everybody was like, oh my god, it's so bad. I don't think... This is back I think the original Cars is is actually not that bad, you know? It's like a direct... Uh, it's like a direct... Try to mimic their movement. Like, adaptation of... Uh, what is it? Doc something. Doc Hollywood. Some, like, Michael J. Fox movie. But, uh... You know, it's fine. It's it's interesting because, like... It's talking about... Uh, the, the whole point is, like, Radiator Springs, the town he ends up in, is, like... You know, it's... relegated to history because... You did it! You beat the legend! The, um... Oh, yeah, they were trying so hard. Uh, it's like, yeah, relegated to history because it's off of the freeway. It's on Route 66, which nobody goes on anymore. But it's like, in the Cars world, why would you not oh, have started with the highway? Can do. I really felt like, I was I, uh, like with it makes more sense man, if everyone is, is actually a car or vehicle of some kind. Blast from the past. I don't know. Look, it's weird. Week, it's it's a very confusing... We pull in confusing slow lane with old world. Lightning McQueen discuss the ill <coughs> so many stickers. Of his career. Like Lightning McQueen's got the one big old decal on his hood, but you know. Ill advised? Check. All right, I'll level with you. Old 95 still gets big ratings for some reason. Oh, I get it. Fans love a comeback story, right? Comeback story? <laughs> He's doing his best. Nah, with that impression. Viewers revved like a massive crash and burn. 
You are overdue, my friend. Right, Natalie? Well, there are a few red flags in your statistics, Lightning. Going by the numbers, I'd say... See, that's the problem, Natalie. You can't rely on numbers alone. Racing's something you have to feel and experience, right, Cruz? Yeah, I mean, if I've learned anything from Mr. That's McCoy, not... You need skill as well as speed. Interesting. Jackson Storm! But the numbers are important. If nobody's watching you, the numbers will still say that. Wait, are we recording? Always! Wow. You're as slow as ever. So what do you say, Jack? I do like the yep, chick has chick has the uh, mustache. And just to be sporting, I'll give them time to get ready. You know, run a few warm-up races until Natalie's sure their stats are top notch. Top notch? Hey, I beat you once, Jackson, and I'll do it again. Ooh, now that is Yeah, easy. good for her. I'll have my guys on location to track his lack of progress. And then, yeah, for some reason, Cars 2 turned into, like, a a weird spy parody. It's like a weird remake of uh, The Spy Who Knew Too Little, basically. It's very odd. Whoa, what's going on with this? I'll be tracking your key statistics, and this chart will inform you whenever you've achieved something. Oh, okay, it's just like... Speaking of which, it looks it's just as like achievement based. Well. Okay, sure. Sure. Uh. Oh, wait, no, it's like a skill tree. Okay, that's kind of fun. Sure. Best lap challenge event. Any race event. Bat uh, battle race. Let's try out the best lap challenge. Let's let's try it. I guess I have to go and find it. Where's the best lap challenge? Where is Ah. Battle race. Oh, I haven't unlocked the best lap challenge yet. One takedown event. And then I have to stunt showcase. Okay, so I gotta do a battle race. Let's see how this goes. I'm not generally a fan of battle race stuff, so uh, we'll ju we'll leave it a medium. Lightning is about oh yeah! Pour me up that trick, cause I'm revving and raring the race. All right, I do like Tomater, uh, but uh, is that Larry the Cable Guy? That one actually sounds a lot closer. I think it's the Larry the Cable Guy. His voice already is a character voice. That's not what the actual guy talks like, uh, but. Come on, let's get racing already. Good choice. I'm a precisional instrument of speed and aromatics. That's so no, that's not him. This oh. is well. She's so small. It's gonna be picture. Have it. Oh yeah. She screamed. Come on. I let's am get... ready to. I still can't believe I get to do this. Good choice. Well, racing is cool. a little like being an attorney. Always expect the unexpected. Oh yeah, she was an attorney. That was like her whole thing. I want to make oh, this racetrack one. look good. I do like Ramon. Oh, Guido. Let's do Guido. Let's go a little beep beep. Ooh. Some neons. Uh, now we don't need auto drift. Sure. Battle race simulator. Uh, is this just the the race that has items? Because I don't mind that too much. Okay, yeah, I just don't want like the Jack X, like you gotta drive around and find somebody kind of stuff. Yeah, in the first movie, Sally, his love interest, was the one who represented him in court after he destroyed most of the town. Have you seen any of the Cars movies? Run, run. run. Go. I cannot turbo boost. Alright, what do we got? How do I how do I use these? X. X. Aha! Two wheel driving. Is that is that like a quickie? Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, drift is just way too hard. Like, it almost automatically puts you in 90 degrees. It's a little too much. Come on, come on. Nice turbo. I, 
need another item. Can't do this. It's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, is, like, they still have everything that we have. Like, literally, the Cars universe is just our universe, but they're cars. And sometimes they do. Wait, how do I... It's not... Okay. I don't understand the point of that. But, like, literally, the only difference is the, uh... Things are really getting physical now. The only difference is, uh, car puns. Seriously. Look at that, that drift is just too much. And there go the wow. Oh, really oh, 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 I'm pointing the wrong way. I'm pointing the wrong way. Drive backwards. Oh, huh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? They're in reverse. Oh, God. Oh, why would I do that, though? I guess to shoot? That was terrible. I hated that. Because it, it reverses your controls, too. Like you're actually backing up in a car. Get him. Get him. Oh, tap to the side. So this one is up on the wheels. That one's backwards. And that off. And then, uh... This is, like, side bashing. Oh, and actually basically lets you strafe. Had in mind. Folks, that's how it's done. Nope, not really. Pretty much any scene where they're doing car stuff is stuff that you could see in any movie where someone's driving a car. You know, I mean, it's yeah, it's it's not a great series. I don't know. I would say if you watch any of them. Watch the first one and the third one. The second one is like, I, I don't even know what they were doing with that. Oh, okay. That's what that did, huh? Um, and that's, yeah. The, the third one's actually pretty solid from what I remember. And the uh, first one's fine, you know? I mean, if you've already seen the first one, it's like, you really just need to know that Lightning McQueen is a guy who raced for a while. And the third one's just about, like, the newbies coming in. And they're, like, just younger, so they're just better. Turbo. What place am I in? Fourth? Yeah, whatever. I'll take fourth. Fourth out of what? Ten? Yeah, sure. about RV right now. He gave it all he had today, but in the end, he shot. Right. Certainly not the result he was hoping for. Now to Natalie Serkin. This is, I mean, this is a fun idea. It doesn't, well, for a doesn't control crazy well. Once but again, we see the numbers simply do not lie. It's all right. We're out of time, as they say. You can't be. Uh, next one I think is takedown, right? See you tomorrow, folks. Oh, okay. You can just switch it from here, huh? Uh, oh no. You can switch it on the same track from here, I guess. And then, yeah, we gotta do the new mode. What's it, where is it? Over here? Oh, I didn't unlock it? I thought I, oh right, I haven't actually done a race, have I? I just did the uh, tutorial, I guess that doesn't count. Yeah. Like, that's the thing, is that I, I guess you could tell the Lightning McQueen is old because he, like, I mean, look at him. He's designed after cars from, like, 20 years ago. Like, clearly, this car, who's the one who replaces him, is, like, a way more current car. Um... But, like, that's such a subtle thing, and kids definitely aren't gonna get that. Name's Bobby Swift. Oh, oh, I want to unlock Mater the Greater. My name's not Swift for nothing. I don't know this guy. Seen fast until you've seen don't know that guy. Chica. I know him. Today's track conditions highly favor my son. No, thanks. Lightning is about to strike. Ooh, okay. I've calculated. Let's move out. Wow. 
That seems uh, unfair. He's huge. I could do this all day. Ooh, time to fire up. That's who Louise is. I think I'll wait and see what today brings. Please, please save the photo ops. I'm for here. Him. You're here. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Is it time to race yet? Help yeah, I don't know. Insurance. Oh, I remember that character. Okay. Okay. I want to unlock them. Sure. We're going to go with sure. Fabulous. Lightning McQueen, though. Then we'll go with some red for some contrast. And yeah, still a little beep beep. Um. I guess, yeah. It's, it's hard to describe. And I don't really know that much about cars either. I just... I just can notice that, like, yeah, that's clearly, like, an early 2000s car design back when everything was, like, super, like, bubbly round and kind of ugly. I mean, for me... Oh, right. It's the tr trigger. Um, tr the right trigger button thing. Um, for me... I think that the only cars I can generally recognize are cars from, like, the 60s, which I think look great. I think 60s cars are the coolest-looking cars. And uh, cars from, like, the 2010s, like the Dodge Charger, they still are kind of in style, but, like, the ones that have, like, those kind of, like, sharp edges that aren't, like, blocky. Uh, why would I jump? What, what use is there to jumping? So what use is there really to drifting? It's not like I can't maneuver around these corners just fine. Why would I want two-wheel drive? It's just for looks. I just... It's hilarious hearing the, uh... Hearing the, um not Owen Wilson that they got to to play lightning in this. Oh, that's why I'd want to do it, because you get more turbo points. Yeah, sure. So are you allowed to have two Lightning McQueens in one race? One variant and one other one? We're not gonna drive backwards, we're gonna do this. Thank goodness that's over. Yep. Yeah, I really, I guess Drift probably gives you more turbo. That'd be my guess, but I also, I don't know, I'm just used to turbo, or rather, drifting slowing you down in most games. I'm in ninth? I'm in terrible. Interesting strategy. Okay. It's subtle, but I see it. Just like you talk, Doc. Yeah, these voice lines are pretty ridiculous. They're only ridiculous in a way that you'd understand if you know Owen Wilson, though. That's the big thing, is like, most people would be like, yeah, he just sounds like a guy, but it's like, yeah, but he's supposed to be a cartoon car. Why don't, why does he only sound like a guy? Two down. Oh. You even what are you talking about? I hit it. it. Didn't do anything. Oh, so you gotta do tricks over the stuff to be able to get some boost from it. I see. Look who's in the zone. Okay, okay. This is actually making more sense now. And I'm in first. We got ourselves a winner. Oh, that, I mean, I guess that's a fair point. I don't know. I think Owen Wilson already is not a great choice. Much like a lot of Pixar movies, it's like, great. They sound like a random celebrity dude. Like, at least 
race in a row. At least, like, Illumination, say what you will about them. When they get celebrity voices, they will at least try and do a character voice. Like, Gru is Steve Carell doing at least kind of a character voice. Um, the Grinch, when it was Benedict Cumberbatch, like, he did a character voice. He didn't just mess around and sound like himself. Uh, friggin' what? Or like Onward, right? Onward is an okay movie. But the big difference there is that Tom Holland, not Hiddleston, I thought Hiddleston. Tom Holland, like, actually did kind of a character voice. Whereas, uh, Chris Pratt didn't even try. Lightning is about to strike. Well, yeah, but that's, like I was saying earlier, oh, yeah. Larry the Cable Guy is already a character voice. Like, that's not what um, Dan Whitney actually sounds like. It's like it's a similar accent, but like he does different stuff for it. So when he's just applying that character voice to another character basically designed off of him, then it's like, well, sure. It works. I am ready to roll. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I forgot Chris Pratt is going to be playing Garfield. I think he'll be okay as Garfield. Garfield is one of those voices where it's like, yeah, I could see him just sounding like a dude. Because he's supposed to be the most bland, relatable character possible. But, um... But, uh... Yeah, Mario is the one that really seems ridiculous to me. Like, why would you cast someone with no personality for a plumber with not like a super, a super like clever personality or anything, but you know, at least something. Whoa! 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 Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. The drift is a little tricky, but it's actually pretty useful. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, going off the ramp. Go! Hey, good effort. You just keep trying your best. Wow. Oops, I hit the wrong one. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna yeah. Woo! There we go. This little sum. There's a little juice. Oh, do, 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 do. Wow! <laughs> there went Lightning McQueen. All right, all right. Nobody likes to show off. This is actually, you know what? It's not super hard, but this is actually this is an all right racing game. You know, I don't want to give it too much praise. But they did they did their best. It's certainly better than some racing games I've played. Getting better. It's subtle, but I see it. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Nice burst of speed. Is that really all you got? Need a quick going in the sand. That's what keeps slowing me down. Alright, we're not gonna mess around with that. Cool. Then we'll go. Wow! Did a flip. Yeah. Oh, wow! Can't beat that, baby! Yep. Yeah. Ooh, a little close, a little close. Yeah, I came in fifth, though. Again. Kick, kick, 
John Arbuckle. Yeah, actually, Chris Pratt would be perfect for John Arbuckle, frankly. The loser. Tell me, why did this guy even get into racing? Clearly, he's not cut out for it. Shut up. I'm doing my best. Guess what, folks? We're live at Sunny Heartland Motor Speed. Uh, I'd say this is like a C. Maybe even a C plus game. Like it handles fine. Like it, it handles just fine. Wait a minute. Can I restart this? I'm gonna quit to the main menu and start this from the top. Cause I just realized instead of a timing thing or a holding thing, you're supposed to mash the accelerate button to get your boost at the beginning. That's that's actually pretty neat. I haven't seen a game use that. Yeah, it this controls okay. The you know character models are fine. I mean it's just cars. Um, there's some interesting ideas with the like different tricks you can do in that building up your boost. I think it's I think it's all right. Uh, let's try. Let's try Ramon. Ramon is in the house. Just like real cars. Oh, there's a rear view. Hold, press and hold R to look backwards. Got it. Okay, yeah, that helps a lot. All right, I'm not gonna go for that. Whoops. Ah. All right, bad start, bad start. We're just gonna over here to do a big old trick. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. It's pretty terrifying, the idea of having a crash as a car when the car is your body. I mean, having a crash in general. Pretty horrifying, but when you are the car, oh boy. Uh. All right. Ooh, I hit the thing. My eyes hurt. Uh, don't talk about your eyes. What was that? I think there was a more recent Simpsons joke. Oh no! Now I'm worried. There was a uh I'm like a, a recent Simpsons. Uh yeah, kinda. I mean the Rookie The uh Motorcycle isn't your human body though, so it's like gives you something that you can ah something that can actually harm you on top of just you know you also going flying at crazy high speed. Uh, but there was a recent, more recent Simpsons joke. I think it was like an episode where it was like Lisa meets Lady Gaga or some who cares. Uh, but there's a joke that's like. If, um, in the Cars universe, if gasoline is their food, then why do they have teeth? It's like, yeah, why do they have teeth? Ooh. It's bad, bad thoughts. Uh, let's go here and see if I can do a, a double. Whoa! Oh, Then we'll just, what? There we go. I think, yeah, the big thing is just building up your turbos and skirting ahead whenever you can. You don't inherently need teeth to talk, though. 
Tonight, I mean, look at ventriloquists, you know? I feel like if you lived your entire life without teeth, you'd figure out how to get around it. He definitely deserves to be taken seriously. Seriously! Miss Fritter, tell us, what did you see out there? Well, you know me. I love it when everybody's smashing into each other like... Mm, wait, no. Continue to the next event. I forgot I was on a thing. English does not need teeth as much as you think it does. It's quite easy, in fact, to seek without losing your teeth at all. Oh boy, the sun is shining. I gotta tell you, it doesn't get any better than what we are experiencing today at Heartland Motor Speedway. Anytime you manage to gather a field of racers together like this, you know you're in for something amazing. I'm just saying, you could work around not having teeth. Oh, right, you gotta. Y'all, let's continue. Let's go racing! Oh, don't get too close. I'll bash you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you gotta like that drift. That was a pretty weak drift. Yeah, the drift is taking me a little too long to get a handle on, but otherwise this controls pretty well. Woo! Over the fence. Over the fence. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, stepping and sliding, baby. All right, all right. Give me something else to do. Yeah, come on, give me something else. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, train! Oh, right, you can jump. I keep forgetting because it's, like, not a thing in most racing games that you can just jump independently. Usually have to go off of a ramp. Like that. I'm a good good care. You I'm not sure about you. One wheel, one wheel, there we go. Or two wheel. Which whichever wheels. Oh, you gotta kinda start the drift in the arrows, okay. How am I in sixth? Oh, because everybody's like clustered together. My eyes hurt. No, it's not usually my thing, but you're taking it to a new level. Whoa! Oh boy, oh boy, you can't can't mess around in this one. You gotta stay on your toes. Your car toes. To to tomater? I don't know. Bop. And then we gonna jump. I should have done a trick there. Should have done some. I mean, it's not even that necessary. Check out this move. There we go. Ah, I keep. It's hard to move back to the right stick while you're still in the air. Not quite. Still got another lap. And these are pretty long tracks. Usually the early game tracks would be uh, a little shorter. In at least Mario Kart, you know? Jump. Oh, 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 God. Oh, no. Dear Lord. You better call 
crashing. You need a ride home. Yeah. Woo! Alright, then we can... Uh-oh, uh -oh. I drifted the wrong way. No, no, no! I got this. Bam! Oh no! Bam! Ah! Keep skirting by, real quick. Go, go, go! Ah, dip! Don't think I'll death low about this one. <sighs> we were all, literally, yeah. It's got the it's got the Jack X problem. Scott, so let me do just that. Man, did he struggle again today? It's got the Jack X problem of everybody just clusters too close together. Now, Smokey. So you can't break away at all. This is why we love racing. Drama on the street. All right, all right. Excitement in every turn. <laughs> I sure am looking forward to the next one. Well, there you have Let's see what the next event looks like. Not surprising, it's a bright and sunny day here at the Arizona Speedway where fans from across the globe have gathered for today's big event. Okay, I know I'm not alone when I say I've really been looking forward to this race. I mean, you just can't lose with a lineup like this. I've been winning races since the 50s. This is nothing. All right, pal. Give me the max, give me the max. Okay, I got three. That's pretty good. Underway. Out of my way, dude. Ooh, somebody's great doing that. Oh, whoa, tumbleweeds. Uh, this way. All right. We got to get the drift going at some point. You really call that racing? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Big old rock. Oh, well, I guess it didn't really matter. Keep in A to jump. It's not A, it's B. Oh, uh, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, gotta get at least decent at drifting. Get you on the flip side, man. Oh, I see. It's more realistic drifting. Because in uh, Mario Kart, when you drift... In Mario Kart, when you drift, if you want to go more left, you hit more left. In this, you actually do have to reverse your controls a little bit. Mentally. I gotcha. Okay. What's your problem, man? Do, 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 do. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. The moon is back on track. I think if you get full turbo, you can do the in the zone bit. I'm gonna try and get that set up. Oh, jeez, cactus. Oh, bale of hay. Bale of hay would stop a car dead, dude. Bale of hay is heavy. Especially bale of hay of that size. Come on now. There we go. Woohoo, okay. Yeah, baby, that was a big one. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, that went better than I thought. Ooh. Oh, 
Move it. Move it. Move it. Back off. It's not looking very friendly out there. Whoa, oh, nope, nope, nope. I see the future, and this won't end well. Oh, jeez. That's weird. My loser detector must be broken. All right. What do you call that? Not racing, that's for sure. There we go. Hey, make sure you spell my name right on the trophy. These are surprisingly uninteresting tracks also. Like, some kind of kooky stuff happens, but, like, this is supposed to be a cartoon world. Oh, hey, I still won. Nice. Sponsored team play. Despite the fact that we already knew... I did it. Folks, here they are, today's top three. All right, what else we got? A uh, stunt showcase. Hmm, okay. Let's go midnight run. Time to get racing. Come on. Yeah, that is a t super uncanny. I am ready to roll. Get ready. Lightning is a I still I am ready to roll. Give it to me one more time. Get me out there. Ugh, yeah, it's just not quite right. It's creepy. Time to try racing for myself. Uh, let's play as Sally. Always expect the unexpected. Ooh, they got yellow now. Let's do that. Uh, I guess that's more yellow. Yeah, sure. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm saying, though. It's like it could be more if they really want to. Welcome to what is sure to be a season of finding night here at Thomasville's Midnight Run. All eyes have been on this one for weeks, folks. I, I love this. This time, hmm. we're not racing for the finish line. The winner of the stunt showcase will be the car that scores the highest on jumps, flips, tricks, and anything else they can think of. Not sure you should okay. in the air, chicks. You might hurt yourself. All right. Uh, give me the max. Give me the max. Ah. Not quite. I am so stoked about this one. Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, this yeah, it was okay. All right. Yeah, it's some, I guess. It's not especially great. Ah, looks like that was a big thing right there. All right, let's try jumping on two wheels. No, that didn't do anything. Hang on, this will be a tough one to land. Eighth, and I'm really slacking on this one. How do I get higher points? What are, what are they doing that I'm not? Yeah, this ought to level the playing field. What an air trick! Oh, do, 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 do. oh. I got stuck. Whoa, okay. 100! It's only 100! Why do I get such low scores? The leader has so much more than me. How am I supposed to compete with that? Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, okay. I'm flying. I've done the turbo a couple times on those ramps, and it does not get me high enough to get to those balloons. Gotta make things interesting. <sighs> ah, 
do not understand. This is incredible. That was just a practice, right? Uh, yeah, I don't like this event very much. Oh, okay. We're flying. I'm actually flying. Wait, what just happened? This, well, this is also, this is not how... When you reverse, it reverses your controls, but that's not how backing up in a car works. You still have to hit... Yeah, whatever. I really do love driving fast. Wow, such an interesting character. Oh no, I'm running out. Even then, look at that. The balloons only give you like a couple points. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Whoa! Okay. Oh, no point in appealing. I definitely lost that. I'm chick I know, right? And this <laughs> is chick's picks. Let's just dive right into Rich Mixon's performance. Sometimes you can nail it, and sometimes, well, you know. Well, let's hope he can put this one behind him. Anything to add, Miss Fritter? Oh, that was scary, Chick. It just ain't safe out there when it gets like that. At Junior Moon. Okay. Hey, that's it for tonight. Join us tomorrow for more highlights and... Yeah, okay. I just need to play one of those. So we're going to move on to the, uh, the takedown. Ka-chow! Come on, let's get racist. Let's play the new guy. Call me Junior. Pleased to meet you. Let's give him blue. Yeah. Hmm. The clouds are rolling through on another gorgeous evening. Sure, pal. All right, where are the crash carts? Oh, okay, it's just like uh, Jack X had a mode like this. Yeah, it's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Never like to see that. Woo look out! Oh, that's unbelievable. Got rid of a ton of cars in that one. Oh, like some. All right. Woo. Oh yeah, that's a stuff. Whoa! Never scared in my day. Five bombs on the track. Hey now, hey now, I'm not towing anything. Well, I don't know what they're talking about. Come on, get back here. There we go. Oh, waves? Oh, okay. Not realize it was a wave-based situation. Look out! What? Are you kidding me? Most of the field was out with that one? Right on. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That's his first stroke of luck. That's the one you want. That one right there. Hey, y'all. Come on back, come on back. In the air. Yeah. Oh, give me some else, man. These items suck. Oh, oh, at least they don't get stolen. All right, there we go. Splash damage on those is real wide. Oh lord, he just has guns. Man, oh, well, not for long, I guess. How many cars is that with one shot? Uh, not many. Anybody looking for extra points? There they are. This horde alive and dangerous. Is fire. This is okay. I prefer it to like the arena style. Uh, arena style battles that a lot of other games will do. Got a bunch of that. Is about to be your misfortune. Oh no! Rockets! 
I don't need to drift. Oh, come on now. Oh, oh no! I got the one last one. He's so far away. Come back here. Ah! No! Ah! I bet old Hood smiling. All right, new thing. And I'm your host, Chick Hicks. Now we got the best lap challenge. Hey! Master level event unlocked. Looking bright as can be for this guy. What did you think, Miss Fritter? Frankly, I lost interest after the first few laps. All right. All right. Sponsored team play. Hmm. Best lap challenge. Let's uh let's do this one. We'll do five laps. Lightning is about to strike. Name's Bobby. Does anybody name's not Swift? Check it out, man. I'm so Warm excited, babe. Alright, let's do Tomater. Leave him with some blue. And some red. Is a trade horde. Choo choo. Welcome everybody to Heartland Motor Speed. <laughs> All right, let's see how good I can do on this. Oh, this is just time trial. I got you. This is nice. Sometimes you just want to go for a drive, see how fast you can drive, you know? You don't always have to be driving with other people around. Well, I say people, they're cars. Cars are not people. Not in any world I know. Look at me. I'm looking one way, you the other. And there we go. Driving backwards. Right. And then driving on the two wheels. Uh. And we're in the zone. Ooh, perfect. Well, that might be because I was in the zone. better do a little better now mm -hmm. just a touch behind myself from the last lap it looks like come on now Oh no! We're on 
off the record pace here. Sorry, my fault. Hang on. Alright. And well, it looks like the record's gonna be pretty tough to beat at this point. I suppose it's not as impressive to get a new record on your first time around. This is certainly helping me understand a lot about the driving without, you know, all the dudes in the way messing up my steez. Close. Oh, it's very close. Oh, he's right there. Folks, I think the current record may survive this. Nah, shut up. Shut your shut your mouth. Your car mouth. I don't even care what you gotta tell me. I'm a natural. All right, just got cut to the inside. Whoops. Look at that, we're, we're falling a bit behind here. Yeah. All right, let's just catch up a little bit. Ah, 
<laughs> oh no! Love how he says that. No. Just let me tow objects. Oh well. Chick Hicks here, and welcome back to Chick's Pick. Turbo Teen is only sometimes a teen, sometimes a car. He's rarely both. Second win in a row. And how long will this winning streak last? <laughs> I'm just as excited as you to find out. Do you have anything to add, Natalie? Well, Chick, my pre. All right. Now, what are our actual goals? Now that we've done all the starter goals. Extras. Well, options first. Turn the subtitles on, of course. Don't need that. Weapon glossary. Oh, I need other players to do that one. All right. Well, let's. I guess we'll work through the races, but uh. I'll do that in just a minute, because I'm going to take a break, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. Be our back with more Cars 3 Driven to Win in just a minute. ka -chow. And a ka -chow to all of you, my brethren. We are back. Uh, it is really weird that Turbo Teen's... Turbo Teen's transformation trigger is temperature change. Turbo Teen... Turbo Teen triggers transformation temperature-wise. Eh, some. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder how many people even remember Turbo Teen. For those of you who don't know... It was a show about a teenager that when he got warm, he would turn into a car. Very strange idea. I don't even know. I think I've actually only ever seen. I've heard references to it and I've seen the robot chicken sketch. Was it live action or was it animated? I don't actually even know. Uh, let's let's try and get a three star on this. I think 
Good choice. I tried my best. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate your thanks. Um, your your nice little racial just. Uh. Ooh, purple. There we go. That's some nice. Uh, we're gonna give this sucker probably another hour, and then that that'll be it. This this game's it's fine. It's maybe even a little above average. It's it's better than I expected a licensed game to be, but uh. Welcome to Fireball Beach, folks. Eh. This is sure shaping up to be one pretty night, and I tell you, it doesn't get any more exciting than this. Okay, I'll have to look up what the transformation actually looked like then. Oh right, you gotta you gotta mash it. Yeah, buddy. This one is underway. Yeah, buddy. We got it. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, that's the worst feeling, missing the entire thing. Whoa, I gotta try that. Hey, I'm getting the hang of this. I could give you some training tips if you want. All right, and. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there we go. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go until we get in the zone. It looks like the turbo just goes up over time, too. It's just slower. <laughs> just call me poetry in motion. Ba -ba bam Get out of the way. Their morning nap. Whoa. Oh, I'm in the water. That's not a good place for a car to be. Where'd you learn to drive like that? Oh, that's weird. It like they trash talk you and it shows them in the corner. But uh Watch out. They're like moving in the way that the actual car is moving in the race. I won't judge you. Uh oh, that's that's messing with my brain. It's freaky. Ooh, this this looks so cool. Look at that purple. Oh, that's nice. Hurts my eyes a little bit. Just a little bit. I remember when I was a kid, hanging out with my dad in Seattle, what we'd do a lot is we'd go to the glass blowing studio. There was like a glass blowing studio where they basically allowed you to come in and watch them blow glass for free. So that's why we did it. It was like a lot of parks, a lot of you know, stuff like that that was like free entertainment. And like, yeah, it was just super cool. But also, probably shouldn't have been looking directly into you know, the, the kiln, furnace, whatever. Probably very bad for my eyes. To be clear, I already need glasses before we did that, so it's not, it's not your day, huh? it was not his decision to do that that messed up my eyes. That's just, that's just congenital. My, my eyes is ge ge genetically predisposed to being bad. Do, 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 do. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, one of my brothers and my dad also need glasses. My grandma needs glasses, but I mean, she's, you know, she's older now, so I think that would have been the case regardless. Whoa, well, I'm coming in third at least. One star for, th I guess, one star for each of the top three spots. C-R-U-Z. Okay. I didn't get anything new. I'm Chick Hicks. Okay, folks, it's time to talk about Smokey. Now he'd be the Max Hat. He's so well short of expectations today, but I'm guessing he'll get. Let's give that another shot. We'll just grind it out a little bit. All right. And here we go. This ain't the time to be and then we gotta drift. <sighs> Yeah, I keep got. I gotta remember. I keep trying to control it like a Mario Kart, but when you're drifting in this, you gotta like go. You gotta kind of hit the other way. Whoops. Oh no. All right, let's do a trick. Yes, I did. Seems like the actual strat is just backwards for like a second. Finish off the turbos. Hope you like the of yes, it's 
delicious. Give me more. Oh, ah, missed most of it. Now we're flying. No, ah. Gotta use up a turbo. All right, and then yeah. That racer is in the zone. Wow. Didn't I just slap you? <laughs> I don't like how it says the laps in the corner. Cause it's not two slash three. It's big two, small three. So it looks like it's two to the third. Which for for a second I'm just like, oh, do the math. Oh, that's like uh, eight. It's eight, right? Then I'm like, oh wait, no, it's just two. All right, that's eight. Two squared four times two. Yeah, that's that's eight. What's the matter? Can't take the pressure. Wow, that was good. Yeah, you basically gotta start the drift, and then. Ratchet over to the other side. Do it correct. <laughs> you know this is the big time, right? Come on. I can do it. No. Ah. It's very close. Let's take a look at your recent achievement. Oh, new skill check. This is Chick's Picks with Chick Hicks, and I'm your host, Chick Hicks. What can you say about Cruz Ramirez? Turns out, new event. She really put on a show out there today, didn't she? Too bad she didn't win because, let's admit it. I do like that you can just immediately. That's one thing Mario Kart doesn't have. You gotta back out entirely for the Grand Prix, and it's so obnoxious. But with this, it's just like, yeah, literally, you just pick it from the list. Welcome, race fans, to Fireball Beach. Now, look, there might be some stored clouds. All right. But that ain't going to dampen our spirits. Not tonight. Hey, if you're looking for speed, you came to the right place. Because that's exactly what you can expect to see in a race like this one. Wow. All right. I'm also used to uh, that first little bit. I am so stoked about this. Being, uh, you know, ignorable. Like, you don't have to pay attention, but... And this, actually, you do, because you can literally start your boost the second uh, the, the initial cutscene ends. Wow. Oof. Whoa, whoa! What was that? Hold on, I'm just marking that for later. What the heck happened there? Just takes a little balance. Do, 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 do. Get out of the way. All right. Get out of here, dude. You're in my way. I wait to victory. I try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. That oh, Tristan, huh? There we go. Yeah, it's still it's pretty tight, but not quite as annoying as Jack X with the uh the AI. Get out of 
out of here. Hey, buddy. Can't tell. Are you actually trying to race? Whoa! I gotta try that. Did you all see that? <laughs> Right, and then let's bash the semi. Oh, nope. I feel like they're just faster than me, also. Yeah, they really are leaning into her uh, lawyerness, I guess. Good lord, Mac is so fast. Word of caution, I'm very good at this. Can you believe it? Nothing slows these racers down. This is so cool. Ooh. I bet I look like a blur to the crowd. Like this. Oh, you're gonna be a challenge. See, you don't have to balance it when you're on two wheels or anything, so it's like... It's a cute idea for a challenge, but it doesn't actually matter in the end. Wow, I was good! You know? It's just a different kind of steering. Hardly even that. Not too far now! Wow. Oh, snap. That was a shortcut. You know this is the big time, right? Ooh. Take every shot I get. Whoa, 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 whoa. Overthought it. Oh my god, they just eat absolute crap. Look at that. I got some moves. Whoa. <laughs> That's so funny. What if I do it like, and then? Oh no, it was too. Oh, okay, I actually did it correct. Won't even let me fail what I want to. What a terrible game. At the back of the pack, but you know what? I'm in the zone. This is more like it. Knock it off. Knock it off. Come on. So gonna laugh. Race under pressure. I'm on two wheel! This is crazy! Come on! Do, do, do. Where'd you learn to drive like that? Didn't I just slap you? Make way for a new racer! <laughs> okay, I came in second at least. That feels good. I'm Chick Hicks, and this is Chick Hicks. I hope you've been following Cruz Ramirez recently. Because we certainly have. She looked like she had that one wrapped up today, but it just didn't come together for her in the end. Oh, hmm. break. Let's turn to Smokey. Got any old time wisdom for us? All right, let's give it a shot. Look at that afternoon sun gleaming off the Arizona Speedway. I gotta tell you, you couldn't ask for better conditions for today's event. Okay, we're about to see an all-out sprint from the start to the finish. Speed versus speed. You know what that means? May the fastest car win. This is who all right. see, an expert stunt driver. One of the best I've ever seen. Yep. Go, 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 get at least the three. Ah, whatever. Let's go race! 
I just don't really see enough of a point to the drift because you can do just fine without it. Don't overcorrect. Don't overcorrect. I guess other than the uh the yeah. extra turbo. You want to bank the turbo for the most part anyways. Get in the zone cuz that's where you get the real turbo situation. Unless overall four turbos four turbo boosts is better than being in the zone. It's like, yeah, you can knock people out of the way and everything, but it's hard to say. I don't think I'm going to play this game long enough to uh, care. talking about I don't just call me I don't know hey get out of here lightning McQueen oh no that's one of the driving backwards bits I do appreciate the dialogue, you know, while it's kind of goofy sometimes. Sometimes it will line up in really fun ways like that. One more lap. See, I'm ninth, but it's like I can see all eight cars in front of me. Like, look at that. They're all right here. They're barely ahead. I don't know. I feel like if I was a kid, I'd be super frustrated by that that I just can't seem to be fast enough. Hey, maybe you should take a break. Hey, are you Now don't give up. I ain't. I ain't. Nope. Tricked me again. Solid hit right there. It's okay. I mean, seriously, this game, it's just like, constantly seems like it's just specifically messing with you. Oh, 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 first. Oh, are you kidding? See, see what I mean? There's no way I could have gone, like, if I turboed, I guess, but like, they just Skirted by right at the last second. Tonight is none other than Cruz Ramirez. SMH, man. Look at those differences. And remember, you heard it here. It's literally 0 .0, 0.03, Ludicrous, man. And that's a medium. Hard. Yeah, it goes up to hard. He's kind of top rated personality. Check X. Good night. Let me do some more of the best lap challenges. Those feel good. Ludicrous, man. Ludicrous. Welcome, folks. Absolute to nonsense. On a sunny afternoon. Now you want to stay tuned, because I promise you, this will be one of the most unforgettable events of the season. All right. Ah. Every time, every time I forget that you're just starting. Expect you to drift around this. Don't 
Don't overcorrect. Don't overcorrect. There we go. Wow, that's some great acceleration. <laughs> Way distracted. Boom! Yeah! All right. Looking pretty good already. Every time I forget that that is, is in a drift zone. That's a backward zone. Something about the way it follows the curve. Fix the eye. You could call it bad level design. I actually saw something like that recently. Um, it's a new record. It's a new record. The, uh, my favorite board game designer who designed my last two favorite board games, as in the like games that were my favorites most recently. Um, they, they're working on a new space themed one called Arcs. And it works with like trick taking, which is pretty fun. So you like play a little trick taking game and then you basically use it to make movements on this big like space exploration map. It's really neat, and I've, I'm enjoying it, but it's basically in beta right now. And, uh, yeah, there's this one goal, so there's, uh, you can have resources, it's a board game, you know. Again, look, right there. Um, it's a board game, it has resources, you know. So, there's five different resource types, and there's also these, like, little secret objective cards that you get at the beginning. One of the objectives is rapacious, which basically means you have to have your maximum amount of hold. You can hold up to six resources. Uh, should all be the same type, you know? And you basically, when you decide to score it, however much you have of all the same type, and you can't have any other types, uh, the better your score will be. But, here's the thing, it specifically says, all the same type, not multiple. It says that very specifically. But I've played two separate games with people where they got that card, and both times they read it completely wrong. Like, literally backwards. They thought it was the most types, not the most of one type. And then someone on Board Game Geek made a thread, and they were like, I don't get it. How can you, how can you get six points if there's only five types? And it's like, you can't because you only need one type up to the max of the six in your hold. I don't know, the first time it was happening, <laughs> the first time it happened, it was in a game and it's like the, uh, the guy kept doing it, like, he did it wrong the first time and we're like, oh no, that's, uh, that's wrong. Like, it's this, and then we went it went on for a while, and then he tried to do it again, and we're like, no, dude, again, you you did it wrong. <laughs> like, he just didn't get it the first time, I guess. I mean, she did trick to, uh, trick taking, like, uh, hearts, or spades, or bridge, or whist, where everybody plays a card, uh, every, one person plays a card, everybody else has to play the same suit, whoever plays the highest card in that suit gets all of them, and that's one point. And usually you bid on how many you think you'll win, there's usually like a team thing where you're in pairs. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I think it's a good goal, it's just clearly something's wrong with the, uh, the wording that people keep having that problem. Uh, let's do airport. Um, but yeah, it's basically, it's that kind of gameplay, but each card has a number and a suit, and depending on the suit, take place on an active it has a, it has actions you can do, so... So basically, the actions you can do in your turn are determined by what card you play. But then also, whoever plays the highest card of the same suit gets to start the next turn. And whoever plays first gets to do all of the actions on the card because they'll have a different number of actions. Whereas anybody who doesn't follow, they lose, they only get to do one action. 
And uh, the higher the number, the less actions there are. So if you want to get the initiative and be able to play the first card the next turn, you're basically having to not get as many actions. It's a very interesting system. And I'm, I'm really stoked to see how it all plays out in the finished game. And there's like a campaign element that's going to be really interesting. Uh, they haven't really implemented that in TTS yet, but it's a very fun game. I know. I also like that, unlike Root, which was his his big smash hit, um, in that it's like everybody takes their turn and they can do just like a bunch of actions, and so everybody's turn takes like like five minutes. And so by the time it's your turn again, if you have four players, it's like you've been waiting like 10, 10, 15 minutes to take your turn. And it's like, ugh. But with this, it's like you only take like one, one, two, maybe three actions per player. So it's just like really snappy and quick in a way that his other games haven't been. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's very fun. I already pledged it. It's still on Kickstarter. Um, what they're doing is it's like $60 for the base game, and then $40 to also get the stuff you need to play the campaign mode. But unless you have like a dedicated couple of people to play with, I wouldn't recommend getting the campaign mode. Because the idea with the campaign mode is that it's three games. It's a trilogy of games effectively, and at the end of each one, you like change your character um, to make them more unique. Because you all start out with basically the same thing. And then the idea is that by the end you have totally different characters who can do totally different things. Um, just like Yu-Gi-Oh! in which way? Because there's like a delay, so I'm not sure which part of my, my rambling that was in response to. Man oh man, we're racing at record pace. Visualize. Ah, good. You know, it seems fast paced and everything, but this is actually quite all time fast. Quite underwhelming, frankly. It's quite leisurely drive. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing is, like, in a lot of, like, heavier board games, turns can take a while, but it's kind of like the responsibility of the player to just, you know, learn to take your turn quickly. Like, I've grown a pretty, pretty decent sense of just, like, how to... Man. A lot of ground to make. quickly make a decision and the answer the the trick is uh if it takes you more than 10 seconds just just go random just go random because guess what the first like 10 or so oh boy, like seven, plays seven, of seven, any seven, board game you're probably gonna lose you're gonna you're probably gonna lose unless you're against other like complete beginners but like just just make your turns fast so that you can play again and just pay attention to why you're what you did didn't work. That's about the most you can do. And then instead of wasting your time trying to reason it all out, Look at that speed. Nice. instead of taking all your time reasoning it out and taking three times as long, you can instead play the game three times and get a f and have all the information from those first two playthroughs by the third time around. Now to Natalie Certain. What more can you tell us about the results? Despite the fact that we already knew who would win, I quite... Uh, I know what deck out means. How does Max C work? Well, we've reached the end of I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in a million years. Amazing. I'm Chick Hick. Like, I played a little bit with, like, a starter deck a little while ago, and it, it was fine, but I haven't done any, like, deck building. Uh, Riverside. These are all such boring tracks. Let's go with that one, I guess. Like, the names just don't sound interesting.
Yeah, like, it's good to think it out, but the th the reality is, your first, like, five to ten plays of a game, even if you try and think it out, there's so many things you're not going to understand because you haven't played it yet. So trying to sit there and think it out, you're still, you're just wasting time and you're still not going to get it as much as you would if you just played it really fast and got a bunch of experience playing through it. Like, think it out once you actually have played the game a few times and have enough experience to understand what you're thinking, like what direction you're actually thinking, what context you're thinking in. Don't like go the first game and be like, I have to understand every single rule. No, you're not gonna understand every rule. You're gonna forget about some, you're gonna miss a little bit. Like it just happens. Just get going. Just take your turns. In the zone and looking good. At least with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like you're only playing against one other person, you know. Well, that didn't work. Oh. I I'm very curious as to how that how that works out, but Yeah, those strategy there was that one thing in Hearthstone. It was like the Jabberwocky card. Where the idea is that the Jabberwocky What is it? The Jabberwocky like special effectively special summons two cards from your deck. Um and the thing is, because it's digital, when you do it, it's like immediately whatever effects they have uh, automatically trigger. So if your deck is just full of other Jabberwockies, it's basically you play one, it special summons two more, and then they special summon two more, and then they special, and it just creates an infinite loop that like just it's so stupid it, it does not help you win you're basically just doing it in the hopes that your opponent will just give up mm, yeah I mean that's one of those techniques that works for a while but then someone either a the designers find out about it and like ban it effectively or everybody figures out a way around it. Or everybody just stops using both sides of it and they're just like, yeah, it's not fun. Looks, this is so exciting. This is the fastest anyone has ever raced this track. This is it. Crooked Cook Exodia. Is that. Is that the one where you just use Pots of Greed and a deck full of Exodias? Need it, greet it, and defeat it. Or is that a specific type of Exodia? Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing is if you make a deck for one very specific purpose, then if you go up against somebody who doesn't use that other deck, then it's it's just going to be a waste of time. The thing that interests me a lot is that people who get into trading card games um, are very heavily sp about the one trading card game, and I understand it, because they, they have so many rules, like a, a, an even very complicated board game, like the one I was describing, that has like 15 pages of rules. A basic TCG, TCG has a, around 30 pages of rules. It's just so complicated. But uh, the thing that's interests me is I remember reading in a book by Richard Garfield, who created Magic the Gathering. He basically described it as... Um, deck building is a form of game design. Like, it's basically putting... You create the systems, and then you give the other half of the game design to your players, where they can create the deck and change the game in interesting ways that you would never be able to. So, 
deck building itself is a form of game design. Yeah, but... So it's interesting to me that I don't see a lot of TCG players trying their hand at game design because they clearly already have an idea of how it can work. And all you have to do is if you play enough other games, you can just cobble together elements like their cards in a deck and just add your own little flair for like, oh, if I made a homebrew card, you know, go here. Like, it's not that different in a lot of ways. Oh. Well, that's it for now. I'm your host, champion for the eight. Man, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh got really off the rails. Midnight Run. I think what I the last time I played, I had a deck that could Pendulum Summon, and that is so broken. Tonight from the popular Midnight Run here at Historic Thomasville. Hey, you'll be glad you tuned in for this. That's what I'm saying. I guess, yeah. Because we're about to witness the best lap challenge. Now That's a good point. Yeah. I mean, early Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, the first couple waves. They were still tr trying. Like, they were still effectively just, like, magic with an extra couple zeros at the end of... The attack and defense. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm not shocked Pendulum got nerfed. It was absurd. That's one of those ones where you can tell they based it on the show and then realize, like, oh, yeah. The reason the main character in the show always wins is because it's a broken mechanic. And, yeah. Well, that's the thing for me. I like games for ideas, right? That's why I don't really 100% games. I don't even finish most of the games I end up playing, even if I really enjoy them. A lot of times, I'll get to a point in a game, usually about like three quarters of the way through, where they're not introducing any new ideas, and they're just kind of testing you on ones that they've already created. And yeah, at that point, I'm usually like, okay, I get it, I've seen what you have. And I, I move on to another game with a new idea. That's something with board games is like, I, I like board games a lot because they are their rules. Video games can coast on the fact that they have like, they can have glitz and glam, they can have all these graphics and stuff. And, you know, they, you know, they can just be a direct copy of other games. Like how this is effectively not that much different from a lot of other racing games but with a board game it's like they have to come up with all of the rules to be like playable because if you don't have the rules for how to do every part of the game then it just doesn't happen you know the code can't tr pull your player through until they get to the parts that are interesting you have to be interesting from the top Uh, 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 uh. Ah, I missed the last couple notches. It's a real solid performance up to this point. Time to meet it, greet it, and defeat it. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh. I hit a wall. Just trying to look at chat. Yeah, well, the first set of Yu-Gi-Oh, it was basically just trying to create a playable version of what was in the manga and show. And it's like, they did a f fine job, I guess, but that can only really take you so far. Um... Yeah, 100% completion. I don't do that often unless it's a game where it's super easy, like Turnip Boy I 100%ed. I'm doing that for Mario Kart, but that's just because Mario Kart, I can get into a pretty decent flow with that and not be too upset. Um, uh, what is it? Kirby 64. I'll, I'm going to 100% that because it, it won't take long, and I always wanted to as a kid. I just could never figure it out. So... Yeah, though that's that's about it. Oh, 
Folks, I think the current record may sure uh, well, that's something. Digital versions of tabletop games, I think, are the perfect blend. Because you gotta design it originally as, you know... You gotta design it initially as something that can be played on a table. But then, when you put it into digital, all of the little busy work stuff and all of the, the math, it can the computer can handle all of that. Or like with uh what's it? Um I tell you, she's at the top of her game right now. Now Smokey, any well, it's Hearthstone, like I was saying earlier, like that's a digital card game. It was only designed to ever be digital, so it can do things that you couldn't necessarily do in a TCG. Like, um, I'm trying to remember. There's like, like copying cards in someone else's deck. Like you could use tokens, I guess, but with like Hearthstone, it's like, no, it just looks through your opponent's deck and gives you a straight up copy of their card. And it's it's as easy as that. Or like um, there's cards that allow you to basically draw any of this specific type of monster, which physically it's like, well, if you don't have every single card of that, then it's like, it's just not gonna happen. But if it's like, well, we're just gonna give you one temporarily for this match, it's like, yeah, they'll just spawn in a digital version of it. They ain't losing any money doing that. So it's a game that, to a point, could be done IRL, but has a lot of little things that would either be too difficult for humans to parse on their own, or that looked like I could slip under that, didn't it? Yeah. Or just something that, like, would require having a full set of the game many times over. Lost time on that. Ah! Well, no, not just like opponent's cards. I mean, like literally, it's like you get a copy of a random card from your opponent's deck. Like that is, that's what it'll say. And it'll just be like, it's not separately. You're not taking their card. You're not using a token or anything. You're like, it literally just go, like the computer just goes through their deck finds one of the qualifying cards and just puts it right onto the battlefield or puts it into your hand. You couldn't put it into your hand in the same way. Like, there, there's so many other things like that, or like, it'll be like, all of this type of card throughout the entire deck gets plus one. It's like, keeping track of that would be an absolute nightmare. That's what Slay the Spire does as well, but that's more of a single player roguelike. And now they're making a, a tabletop version of that, which doesn't make any sense. Because the whole appeal of Slay the Spire is just the absolute ridiculous combos that can get you like 15,000 damage. There's no way they're going to have us taking, like, have us actually calculating that. It's just going to be a, a, my guess is it's just going to be a really watered down version of uh, the digital game. Like, the closest I can think... I don't know. This time is looking really good. I just think every anybody who wants to be a game designer should start out in tabletop. Oh, nice, man. Because you have limitations. In digital, you can do whatever you want, you know, within reason of your programming skill. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But limitations always breed more creativity, and... Being limited to th physical objects that other humans are going to have to be able to parse, like hold in their head, either hold in their head or track with physical objects in front of them, like it hopefully will breed a lot of creativity and it'll convince you to make tight, elegant designs that you wouldn't have made if you just went straight to digital because you'd just do whatever you felt like and let the computer, like, stay on top of it. Yeah, baby, that's a new record. I bet this looks so cool. Yeah. 
each of these I'm getting like faster by the last lap, but I'm not actually doing well enough to get a decent amount of stars. I feel like there's a correlation there. Wow. Ah, I wanted to keep going that way. Well, whatever. Whoa. Did you look at that? We're, we're falling a bit behind here. Wait, something's messed up here. I got some moves. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, oh, I did it too late. Did it too late. Falling off the record pace here. Oh, man, not good. Here we go. <laughs> Try to catch me now. Looks great on the land. Man, got a lot of ground to make up. Whoops. Uh, Name's Cruz Ramirez, in, in case you're wondering, with a C. C-R-U-Z. This is Chicks Picks with Chick Hicks, and I'm your host. Yeah, exactly. Once you're getting like more than more than one type of counter. A lot. She won again today. And no, this is But more than one type of counter that isn't damage. It's like this is a little This is a little cumbersome. What do you have to say about this, Mater? Well now, Chick, it's like this. Yeah, we'll never know what Mater thinks. That's just true to life in general, you know? Who knows what's going on in there? Oh, jeez. My roommates are coming back from a road tr trip. And uh, I guess they hit traffic so bad that they're literally parked on the freeway. Get ready. Lightning is about to... ka -chow. Today's track conditions highly favor my style of driving. Um, I'll actually give you yellow. All right, let's play around with this for a little bit, but then, then I'm probably going to end. I think I've kind of hit the limit of how much entertainment we can really get out of this game. Look at the Thomasville training facility where some of the circuit's top competitors have gathered to brush up on their skills. Hmm. That's oh, like a little open world part. Cool. <laughs> This is fun. This will greatly Here we go, off the ramp. Wow! I can't make that same mistake twice. Can't you? I think you can. Hey, that's one of the hats I lost. The official said I can't race till I find them all. Something about being Why? on the tracks. Care to help me out? Okay, yeah, this is like Tony Hawk, but in a car. Not a problem. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. I, th I think I can manage. Now how'd that get way over there? Yeah, how indeed. That is not at all what Max sounded like either. It sounds like what somebody would have voiced him like if they had never uh, gotten John Ratzenberger, but they got John Ratzenberger, so... Let's get some other items. Ooh, a challenge. Hold up. What just Hold up. Night. Get back up. Oh, there's no backing up. Oh, jeez. I think that's okay. Uh, sure. Let's do it. Perfect. Just what I need. Oh, 
Oh, cracked my windshield. I guess I healed though. Oh, 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 I fell through the world. Oh. Oh, I'm still going. Oh! Uh, oh, okay. I respawned. This game isn't crazy buggy, but I've run into at least a few big bugs like that just playing it for a couple hours, so, you know. Take of that what you will. Did I do it? Right on target. Let's take Is that, a look at the statistics. Is that good? Okay. Yeah, let's let's keep going. I mean, this part's this part's pretty neat. Interesting. What are the challenges we got out here? That is the same one. So we're gonna ignore that. This will work into my calculations nice. Is that all you do? Calculate. Oh, there's another challenge. Whoops. How do I, is there a break? Oh, and there is a reverse. I guess, okay. Battle it out. Oh, multiple players. Well, can't do that. This area is not very large. Being a big open world bit, uh, I figured there'd be a lot more to do. But it's pretty empty, actually. Pretty, pretty small, pretty empty. It's kind of neat to have like these half pipes and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Game's all right. Solid, solid five out of 10. If I, hey, in the world of licensed games, right? You know, I got so many crappy DS games and other shovelware of other properties. If I was a kid and I got this game and I was like really into cars, I'd probably be pretty happy with it. Of course that's with the prerequisite that I'm really into cars. Yeah, the franchise. I don't know how many kids are actually into cars. They like Lightning McQueen, but do they like the movies? I don't know. Do they make a car show? Seems like a thing they do. I know they made a, a turbo show, like the Racing Snail. Okay, that was Y'all ever see that movie? It was not great. I've seen, but yeah, again, it's like the entire time it's like, I've seen worse, but I've also seen a heck of a lot better. So you're not really getting any awards for, you know, bare minimum. Time's up. Not, did not manage. Oh, I guess I did. Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, those were like shorts. I don't really... I don't know if I'd call that like a whole show. There's a hat up there. Gotta get some speed going. Do you like an electric car? Sounds like a RC car, honestly. Whoa. 
Whoa. All right. I think that's what I watched one of them on Disney Plus, I think. It was it was okay. Once again, I, that's just cars in general, man. The whole series. It's all right. And with that note, yeah, we're going to we're going to call it a night here. So thanks for watching everybody for Miscellaneous Mondays. Ciao, my brothers and sisters. Check out my socials down below, Twitter, Twitch, I got a Discord, got a games list, got a, my own YouTube, got a stream YouTube that has all the past streams, all that stuff. We're going to raid over to someone, but hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. See y'all on Friday for uh, some uh, Kirby 64. But, uh... Ah, I muted myself. But, uh, yeah, we're raiding over to someone. Nobody I know is online. Nobody else is streaming this game. Aside from me. I just checked. Literally zero other people streaming this one. Um. Hmm. Gosh, what do I... Who do I raid over to? Uh, I'll find a Mario Kart streamer, I guess. Who's doing Mario Kart right now? Tizzy Q. All right, I don't know who this is. Total rando, but uh, let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see y'all on Friday. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.